So my name is uh, Egmont Boon. I'm the head of digital literacy, uh, previously known as, um, as EdTech, but we've changed the name, we rebranded it because I think it's more than technology. We're looking mo more into pedagogy and how we can deliver uh, using a, a flexible system like Schoolbooks. Um, we introduced it actually last year in secondary school, so we're now um, using Schoolbooks for one year. A bit of my background. Um, I was born in the Caribbean, I've half, I'm half Indonesian, half Dutch, grew up in Amsterdam, lived in Germany, and now 10 years in Singapore. And it reflects also when you look at our school. We're a Singapore international school with about uh, 80 different nationalities in school. So sometimes you walk in a classroom and all the students have a, a different nationality. So as you can imagine, it, it requires another set of uh, how you prepare a system or integrate a system in school. And we have 3,000 students at two campuses. Uh, later on, when, uh, when these slides are available, please click on the, on, the, on the images, then you have a virtual tour if you're interested in how the, the campus looks like. Um, again, one in the East Coast, one at the West Coast. And our stakeholders are actually the students, faculty, and parents. You'll see here the, the program model that we have, and of course, the students' learning is always in the center. But because of the, the different expectations in our group of, of parents as well, uh, we are aware that we have a different um, group of, 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 a special group of audience. So that's why we open up actually a school box for the parents as well. They have access to um, basically all the class pages and, and unit pages. So the reason why we were looking for a system is because of this. We had too many platforms in one place. And as you can see, the title of my uh, presentation was the one-stop shop, where we have the learning, uh, the collaboration, and the communication central. Um, too many platforms, not really consistency. So we decided to look into different systems, and we came up with, uh, with Schoolbox. Um, we had uh, James over last year, and it was, uh, it was actually a, a refreshing, re refreshing for me to see a flexible platform like Schoolbox that um, we can use creating uh, this, this environment. So first of all, it's, it's the learning, but it's not only the learning uh, from the students, although that's, that's of course our, uh, our main, main objective here. Um, this is how a class page looks like. We have also marketing involved, so the marketing uh, creates actually um, the color scheme, the field, uh, the, the skin, and also the, the icons. Um, what we've decided is actually give the, the teachers the middle section as a flexible space to collaborate with their students, but to create consistency. Uh, the, the principals and the steering committee with the coordinators decided some sort of a template where you have on the right side all the, the key uh, components in, on every class page. But we use also um, school box for faculty. So uh, we developed what we called a, a T-Bus lessons. So for new faculty, when they arrive, they just go through these lessons, and it's based on our philosophy, vision, and what we have in place in school. So give them already an idea what, uh, what to expect in the school. And also, the learning where we have now introduced the online submissions. That's something um, for this year on our roadmap. We want to move into uh, online reporting, but also learning analytics. And we did some trials. Uh, and now with, with the new features, uh, we're looking forward to test it out and put it in place, especially in secondary, because that's the second year. So the collaboration part is also an important one. We have um, a large campus with uh, single subject areas, and uh, most of them collaborate. They have uh, weekly collaborative sessions. And what we've done now is the, having the unit pages uh, and use it more as a collaborative repository. So they work uh, together on that unit, and they collaborate on the, on the unit page, and it, then later on when it's finalized by the uh, subject lead, they push it into their classrooms. We have staff pages. Um, to reduce the, the email uh, emails, we uh, just use this as a, a, collaboration, a collaborative space to uh, announce um, new news messages, but also share documents that are important to all staff. We have club pages where the coaches use that to, um, yeah, to communicate with their teams. But of course, now with the fixture uh, up, up and coming, that, that's a fantastic feature. So looking forward to that, to implement that as well. And from the communication perspective, 
This is a student view. Again, um, the feel and the look is something that marketing is, is always developing, and we're now in the midst of a rebranding, so there's a massive operation coming up. The students have their own view. Uh, basically, the faculty see there um, on the dashboard there, of course, the timetable, but also links to important information. And as a parent, you have basically access when you click on one of your children uh, to the, um, the class pages and unit pages as well. And we also use the app. Um, fantastic, uh, works fine with us uh, on both, both platforms, the iOS and or Android, and the notification settings works fine. So yeah, we're happy with, uh, with Schoolbox. I want to thank you also for having us. It, it was, uh, I'm here with uh, Nina Theo, my colleague. She works at uh, the IT department. In our school, we have a separate IT department, and I'm responsible for the integration of um, the, the technology and using the SAMR model and put the ST standards in place, and also STEAM. Thank you for having us, and uh, if you have questions, uh, I think I have more questions for you guys because we're just only one year in, in the system. And uh, we're already, already loving, loving it. Thank you very much. Yeah.